We are here in Birmingham. I'm here with Helen, she's just in the bathroom. Um, for the Tropic Leaders event. If you remember, I went to one of these last year. In fact, I think it was like May last year. So it's a little bit earlier this year, but we did arrive last night, but I didn't start the vlog last night because traffic was terrible. It was chucking it down with rain the whole way here. Friday traffic, and then we arrived at like 10 to seven. We had like 20 minutes to get ready and we were back out because we had like a bit of a party um that our diamond ambassador arranged for all of her like downline so we went to that last night um i didn't bother filming because it just felt quite rushed and yeah it was just catching up with people but we are here today Hiya. <laughs> um we've just got ready and we're about to go down to breakfast and then we will make our way to the icc where the event's happening so We'll be seeing Susie and Carlton. They're gonna be taking us through some new stuff. I'm not sure how much of it I'm gonna be able to show because I think we're getting a little sneak peek at some new products potentially and getting some samples to take home. So I might not be able to share those with you unfortunately, but um, I will obviously share what I can whilst we're there. Are you nearly ready for breakfast? Huh? Are you nearly ready for breakfast? I'm ready. I'm shoes on. Let me show you a little bump date because I feel like the last week I've definitely popped <clears throat> here we go so these kind of dresses are all that fits me at the moment <laughs> and baby boy is popping quite a lot I'm over halfway now and he's definitely starting to show his face a little bit <laughs> Oh, so we're all checked out of our hotel, dealt with a slightly stressful situation of car parks. <laughs> Spent about £100 on car parks. Not that much, but they're expensive in Birmingham. And the ICC is in front of us. We have a trail of tropic women behind us, so we always know we're in the right place. You, you've been hiding in the shadows way too long. Always thought that you were weak, but babe, you're wrong Yeah, you better step into the light Just give it a try Think that it's time you let that spark out You've been hiding in the shadows way too long Thank <laughs> you. 
everything this dream destination has to offer. Living in true luxury amongst the magical Arabian Nights with some serious thrill seeking along the way. Once again, we make memories to last a lifetime. Roll the highlights. just like that I am home um, I didn't get much footage today because I know I say this every time and I do wonder whether to film these events because they are a training event for us ambassadors um, so some of the some of it I couldn't show you because we got sneak peeks of new products um, and I actually have some samples to try um, which is very exciting and already um, yeah there's no guarantees that these are going to be launched because obviously they're still sampling them they're still trialing them out um, and getting us to help them but I'm very excited for some of these products in fact I don't think there's one that I don't like <laughs> but I haven't actually tried I've, I've tried a little bit on I won't tell you too much, but I've tried two of them. I was able to try two of them at the venue today, but two need to be done at home. So um, I'm looking forward to trying them, but they're very exciting and some products that I think you're gonna love. So fingers crossed. It all goes to plan and they get launched at some point. Um, but yeah, it was such a good day. Um, I'm basically going to do my skincare now because I'm, as you can see, I'm home in my dressing gown. Um, I didn't go to the evening event. It's half past eight in the evening now. So all the ambassadors and leaders will be partying the night away now, um, which I was doing last year. I'll link the video in the description box down below for last year's leaders event because the evenings are so good they have the best bands on <sighs> last year was a free bar probably the same this time um, you get a dinner like they're just so good so I am a bit gutted not to be there tonight for the whole thing because I definitely get a bit of FOMO when I'm not at these things it doesn't happen very often but <sighs> the bump is popping as you saw earlier I get tired a lot quicker these days and it's a long day and it's been a long two days for me so I thought just this once I'll miss the evening because I got so much value from today a lot of inspiration motivation as I always get at these events but now I'm home I'm going to where's my hairband resume my normal state <laughs> of no makeup, hair scraped up, and I'm going to chill for an hour or so on the sofa with Carl and Arnie tonight. So, sorry about the fan. Wherever you put the light on in this bathroom, the fan just goes on, so I can't help the buzzing in the background. But I'm going to do makeup. I was saying to Carl actually just now that it's actually been really nice to. Um, get a little bit dressed up for a couple of days. Like I've not been wearing, haven't worn leggings in two days. I've worn dresses, casual dresses, but dresses nonetheless with tights. And it's just been so nice to just have an excuse to make a little bit of an effort, which I haven't been lately because 
just face it, I'm finding it quite difficult to dress my new body. Um, I feel like when the months get warmer, it might get a little bit easier because I can wear my loose summer dresses with just sandals. But at the moment, when it's still a bit chilly, it's been miserable weather this week, I just feel like it's so difficult to wear normal clothes because nothing fits. <laughs> Sorry about my crazy, crazy eyes, but just using the smoothing cleanser to remove all my makeup. People often ask, the Tropic do an eye makeup remover? And the answer is no, they don't do a specific eye makeup remover, but we don't need one because this smoothie cleanser breaks down all dirt, makeup. As you can see, I've just massaged it into my face. I've got a warm bamboo cloth. I don't have to scrub up my face like this and it just sweeps off your makeup so easily. As you can see, And honestly, after a long day, like today, there is no better feeling than using the smoothing cleanser and having a fresh face. Oh, it's just the best feeling ever. If you know, you know. If you don't, get to know, and I will link it down below. Now I'm going to take my bamboo pad. This isn't a Tropic bamboo pad. This is just one I bought at a market once. A lady was selling because Tropic don't have their own ones yet. But who knows? They have always got some things in the pipeline. So maybe at their next launch in September, we'll get some Tropic bamboo pads but for now I'm just using this with my juicy greens my exfoliating essence and then I think I'm gonna go in with a bit of hydration because I've been I do have a refill because this is actually quite empty but in in my office so I do have some minis, so I'm just going to use one of these for now. And then change over my rainforest dew tomorrow. It's so nice being around other ambassadors, catching up with people we haven't seen for a little while. I go in my skin dream, my night cream. And hearing other ambassadors talk about their stories, we had a motivational speaker today, which is the first time we've ever had that. I've never cried so much at a Tropic event before because firstly, I've got pregnancy hormones running through my body, obviously. So I'm more emotional. I've told you about that. I'm definitely more emotional than I usually am at the moment. But it was all about like the narrative that you tell yourself, how you speak to yourself, and we're all guilty, um, I am included, of saying things to yourself that you would never say to other people. Like especially now, obviously like my body changing and everything while being pregnant. When I'm trying to figure out what to wear, or trying things on, or I look at myself in pictures, or I take, like I look at myself in the mirror, I'm, I've been very guilty lately of putting myself down and being like oh, I look so large um everything's spreading I feel really fat and you know saying things like that about myself that I would never say to my worst enemy you know and she was saying this today this motivational speaker and she was like change the narrative like how you talk to yourself and we had to stand and compliment the person opposite. And it was really uncomfortable, like having somebody looking at you and saying something really nice, and you just have to say thank you. Um, 
because even this morning when I got to the event a lady um, said you look lovely because my dress was obviously gingham she says you look lovely in gingham today and instead of saying thank you I said it's the only thing that fits me right now and put myself down rather than just saying thank you for the lovely compliment that she gave me so yeah when there's most of it motivational speaker was saying these things and I really resonated with it and it just made me emotional and a lot of people got emotional in the room it wasn't just me um, and there were so many inspiring stories from people that it's an emotional but inspiring and highly motivational day so yeah I just wish you could all be there to experience it with me um, but obviously you have to be an ambassador to do that and if you are an ambassador already and you'd love to be at these events then you have to be a team ambassador or a leader to be at today's event and just tell yourself a positive narrative to positively re reinforce you as much as you can every day because we all need to be so much kinder to ourselves me included um, yeah lots of things to reflect on after today but I'm gonna love you and leave you for the for now um, because we are going tomorrow um, on a camping trip because it is our one year anniversary on Tuesday the 4th of April can't believe this time last year we were literally days away from getting married and now we've been married a year that's crazy um, so yeah I'm gonna get an earlyish night get up we're going to Snowdonia for our trip and I am going to vlog it so I'll take you with us me Carmelani obviously um, and show you what we get up to for a few days in the van over our first wedding anniversary. Hi everyone, I know I said I was gonna end the video there, but I just had to come on and chat to you this morning because, like after I finished um, vlogging last night and chatting to you all, I, me and Carl obviously just chilled out and I was looking at obviously scrolling on social media like you do and seeing all the other ambassadors uh, all the other leaders that were able to go to the evening event of the leaders event and then I had about three or four people and uh, I obviously know that were at the evening event messaging me um photos of my name on the screen I got so I got, let me let me put this in context. So a couple of days before the Glammies, we were told, at Glammies Leaders event, um, we were told um, if you're being recognized on stage on the evening, you'll get an email to let you know, but you don't get told what it's for. So I did get an email saying that you were gonna be recognized. And I just assumed, this is why you should never assume anything. Um, I just assumed that it was because I've maintained leader for the last 12 months because I got recognized for the same thing last year and I thought well Dubai I've already been recognized for on stage at the Glammies in September last year so it's not going to be for that because I've already been to Dubai as well so they can't possibly do any more <laughs> recognition for that and I thought well I haven't achieved anything else so as far as I was aware so I just thought it'll be for maintaining leader for the last 12 months, which I'm not putting down at all because I know how difficult that has been for so many people maintaining their title. So it's such an achievement, but I thought, well, I kind of know what it's for. So I'm not going to be overly disappointed if I'm, if I'm not there. I, um, I'm so gobsmacked. I'm gonna insert a little video clip of my Dubai roomie. She got it on camera, bless her heart. Kirsty, thank you so much. So I'm gonna insert the video clip um, that she got because basically 
my name got put on the screen and I believe that the other girls um, went up onto the stage with Susie and Carlton for it. Basically, I was in the top 10 people of the entire company for the last 12 months for like the number of people that have joined my team personally. So I was in the top 10 of having the most people join my team, if that makes sense. Um, and when people contact me now saying I'm interested in becoming a Tropic Ambassador, um, I am so happy to help you all because it has changed my life. So I love the fact that it could possibly change yours as well. Um, and you just never know where it's gonna take you. Um, so I absolutely, it's one of my favorite things is helping other ladies start their own businesses too with Tropic. And yeah, I was in the top 10 of, um, yeah, well, I've told you anyway. <laughs> I'm babbling because I'm so excited about it. But then they narrowed it down and then they did the top three. So the top three, obviously I wasn't there, so I don't know exactly how it all worked. I think from what I saw on Instagram and the videos and pictures I got sent, I think the top 10 maybe went up on stage and then the top three were called out and they like stepped out individually. Not too sure, but. And then Kirsty got this on camera. baffled that I was in the top 10 I came third out of there's 20,000 ambassadors tropic ambassadors and out of 20,000 ambassadors I'm third in the company for you wanting to join my team and basically is how I see it <laughs> um, and I could not be more shocked for st first and foremost because we all work for ourselves we're all self-employed and you kind of work in your own little bubble you don't know what every everyone else is doing um you just get on with your own thing within your own little team and if you're anything like me you always feel like oh maybe i could do a bit more and that's i think that's one of the things anybody who's self-employed out there will know that you always feel like perhaps there's more that you could do, um, or there's always a job to be done. <laughs> so yeah, I could not believe it, and I'm so grateful and so thankful for everybody that has already joined my team. I love you all, and for those in the future that choose to join my team, thank you so much. I love having all of you, and if ever you want to ask me a question, or need help with anything and you're thinking about being an ambassador then please just message me because it's the best thing ever i love chatting about tropic obviously and i love helping you all and seeing where it takes you because as you can see i'm absolutely loving life with it so thank you so much so i am going to finish the video here but i had to put that little bit in there um and just say another big thank you because i can't quite believe it but anyway Thank you <laughs> and thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Mwah. Bye!